kind of need some Sims drama now. Uh, wish someone would set something on fire. Um, what can I do next? That would be fun. I can... Oh, oh. Maybe Bert can become an acrobat. How do I become an acrobat? Uh, change of career. Okay, where's the computer? Oh, right, the computer. Oh, it's broken. I don't feel like fixing it. Okay. Uh, I better. I think Bentley's the only one who can get in there. Maybe Bentley should become an acrobat. Or get a different job. Or write another book, because, yeah, it's been a while. I mean, we've made a good bit off the royalties, I suppose. So far. Um. Okay, computer's fixed. Get out of there. We won't have to unlock that door for Bert. Uh, where is it? Find a job, find a job. He can detonate, oh. No, need, need a job. Jobs and, oh no. Not games. Jobs and professions and register at, let's find a profession. Come on, get up. Even vampires need to work. And you're a crummy architect. No one likes your designs. Stylist, no. Singer, no. Investigator, daycare, magician. Acrobat. Or magician. Oh. What's more exciting? I'll go with acrobat. Because it's got bat in it and he's a vampire, so... Oh, his stage name will be um, oh Dracubat yeah the Dracubat because it's kind of acrobat Dracula okay so how does he do this um, gig schedule Okay, how does he get gigs? Oh, he has to be invited. Okay, he needs to go do physical feats in public. Let's go find a nightclub. Uh, this one. Egyptian lounge. Perfect spot. Just go in there and start leaping about. Did that say the place is hot now? It's smoking hot right now. Good, good. Oh, Gigantor's here. Good, hey Gigantor. Okay, um, let's ask to get in. He's quite famous. The bouncer is in there, so what's stopping him? Okay, that didn't work. Let's sneak in. It's like a three-star celebrity, so he should be allowed in. Let's go upstairs. Uh-oh. Um, Now, I don't actually see anyone except Gigantor here. Is that what makes this place, you know, impressive? That's mine trapped in a box. Oh no, everyone, look at me. I'm trapped in a box. Oh no, somebody help. I'm trapped. Ha ha ha. 
Just joking. It was a joke. I'm not really trapped in a box at all. I was tricking you. Okay, let's perform for tips. Oh. The box thing again. Who's this? Oh, it's Bert, his sister, who just moved out. Is she not even looking at his performance? Where is everyone? They must all be downstairs or something. No. I think this town is just really underpopulated. There's like five people who live here and they're all vampires. That counts as job, job experience whether he gets money or not. Maybe this was a happening party until the mime showed up and started, you know, doing his thing for tips in the middle of the floor. Not, the barman's pretending not to see him. Just like, look away, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Actually, there was a mime in The Sims 1 who came when Sims were sad or something and made them even more miserable. Or no, that was the clown. It was the mime in The Sims 2, maybe? I'm not sure. Or was that the bunny rap? Where was the mime in The Sims? It was in one of them. There was definitely a mime. A mime of misery or something. I unlocked an achievement and earned a badge. Brilliant. Is it time for you to grow up yet? Ah, oh, no, not till tomorrow. How does it work? Notice Bert doesn't belong here and informed the bouncers. Oh no, someone's caught him. Someone's caught the mime. Who was that? The barman. Did the barman rat him out? Ah, oh, that is low. So low. Struggling young mime trying to make a name for himself. I wonder if he can just perform for tips here. Yeah, maybe his family will give him tips. Come on, give him a tip. Oh, I can't tell them to tip. I can banish him. <laughs> banish him from his house. Yeah, well, Bumblebee likes it. He must be easily impressed. Is Marmalade trapped in that fountain? Just like the other ghost is trapped in the swimming pool. I think she is. She's been there an awful long time. Possibly generations. Fountain ghost. Of Schmooze Manor. Yeah! Go my me, go my me, go! Mime that stuff. He's got a captive audience of an old man and a sleeping cat. The old man is also his grandfather. <laughs> Who I don't think likes him. Oh, his great grandfather, is he? No, he's his grandfather. Yeah, and he doesn't like him. Okay, yeah, Bert's finally got his promotion. He can, like, schedule gigs and stuff. Give up all these architecture dreams. Let's move into a penthouse. Not gonna happen. Uh, how does he book a gig now? Once you're level two or higher, get invited. Okay, he's just invited, I guess. Let's just keep performing then. No jobs currently available. Um, fire batons. Uh-oh, he's not very good. He's gonna drop them burn the house down. I can just see it. 
But let's see if he'll get more of an audience with this. Actually, he's a vampire. He's going to catch fire if he stays out too long doing this. I think he better get indoors. Oops. No, don't detonate the fridge. Eat. Eat some cake. Oh, there's never someone to feed the baby when you need them. And yet when you don't, they're all over them the place. Okay. Why did he lift him over there to feed him? That's weird. Oh well. Why does this keep happening? What are these things? Are they arguing? They're is he just being mean to people? I've left two. Oh, it's the judgmental paper boy again. Tell you what, tell you what. You can start, you know, telling me how to keep the lawn clean when I can tell you how to deliver paper. God, I wonder did he get a degree in paper boy stuff? I don't know, paper boyism. Paper boyistry. Yeah, that's what the science of being a paper boy is. Paper boyistry. It's like chemistry, biology. I suppose physics doesn't follow that pattern. Paper boyistics. Paper physics. Paper physics. That sounds more scientific. A paper boy is a professor of paper physics. He actually gives lectures. Like that one he gave when our lawn was covered in paper. A lecture on, you know, how to not have too much paper on your lawn. What does he mean too much anyway? Is it like... Okay, there's a couple of them there. There's still physical room to throw down a paper. I mean, look at all this space. He could even just fire it over the gate or whatever if he can't get in. It's silly. I don't know. I mean, his paper boy isix might be quite good, but his actual, like, physics and spatial reasoning is terrible if he thinks he can't fit another paper in this garden. Plenty of room. Oh no, this is going slow. It's starting to slow down. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. A sim fest. Oh, that would be the perfect place to enter as an acrobat. Oh, no, but he's not booked for it. I wonder, can he book gigs with his phone? Um, he can take unpaid time off his job. That, you know... He doesn't have specific hours for. I can call for a singogram. Oh, wow. Let's call for a celebration singogram to... Bentley. Or no, 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 no. Even better. Call for a romantic sim singogram to Bentley. Hey, Dad, here's a romantic singogram for you. I've never seen this. This, how does this work? What's this he's carrying? Oh, architecture design portfolio. Don't need that anymore. Now when does this singogram arrive? I better keep an eye on the gate. The singogram has arrived. Is that him? Leland Malone? Oh. Wait, where, where's the singogram? I think that's him, but I don't think he can get in. Um, okay, you're in, Leland. 
Even though, you know, you showed up in a vest and camouflage shorts and then changed in the garden. Not very professional. And you're booing your, your you know, client. Oh, he seems to like it. Bentley's enjoying this. He obviously doesn't know who it's from. Does that make him fall in love with his son or something? He pro he probably just assumes it's from Lydell. Even though I don't think a ghost can book a singergram. Ghosts can't use telephones. The radiation causes them to disappear or something. I don't know. You can kind of make up whatever facts you want about ghosts. Because, you know, no one's going to prove you wrong. You ever seen a ghost use a phone? I haven't. Another one of these people who appreciate Sims learning a new craft. What are they on about? I'm going to send you off to bed, Bert. I need to relock this door. Once you're, once he's out of there. Uh, there we go. Lock everyone but me. Okay, we've only got a few sim hours left until Bruise is a child, and only a few minutes left in this video. So let's see if we can race to it. Just put it up to top speed, and I'm just waiting for uh, midnight. Ooh, will we fit it in on time? I suppose I can make the video as long as I want, so, you know, I really could if I wanted to. I don't have to hurry at all. I could make it, like, five-hour sim video. I don't think people would watch it. I think 20 minutes is the optimal time for a YouTube video. Because even if I watch a 20-minute YouTube video, by the end I'll probably end up, you know, browsing to something else. You know, I'll get slightly distracted. It'll still sort of have my attention. But just not 100%. But, yeah, let's see. What's this? Love magnet. Oh, someone has magnetism. I think it's Bert. Does Bert have magnetism? Or magnetic attraction or something? No. Bumblebee? Bentley himself? No. Okay, then I have no idea what it is. Okay, just a couple of minutes. Oh, there's a table in this room. We can just have the birthday party here. Oh, this is the table I bought for that birthday party all those years ago. The one that caused the great fire. Ah, happy days. Okay, one more hour. Why isn't hour pronounced hour? Because it has a H at the start. I suppose... Actually, I heard somewhere H is used to all, we, all be silent. So maybe that's why. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Who's nearby? Ah, Bert, just on time. I know he's coming in to put his kid to bed, but forget that. It's his birthday. Let's see what kind of child he grows into. There we go. There we go. I wonder will he still be bald? You don't see enough bald children these days. It would be a bold fashion statement. Come on. Taking his time. And he needs to poo as well. Ah! 
He is bald. Oh my god. What's his new trait going to be? He's an angler. Oh, a fisherman, eh? Oh, oh wow. I, I didn't think there could be bald children. This is weird. Okay. That's their bald son. Well. I, I guess at least he's got his brains. 